started going in his younger years Always wished it would be his life all right, so today is the uh, last project, I hope, uh, before we um, get the boat in the water for the season. So uh, I'm going to replace and reseal, I guess not replace, but reseal the, uh, the front hatch. So there's two problems here. So first of all, with this, you can see here, the plexiglass isn't even sealed in there correctly anymore. So I'm going to uh, reseal that. If you can see here, this um, is getting old and crusty. So I'm going to replace uh, this foam as well. And then I'm going to reseal the actual hatch here. So uh, it screws into the deck, but it's basically two shells, uh, a shell on the inside uh, that you basically um, silicone to the shell on the outside making it like a sandwich and then you screw this into the deck so uh, I'm going to pull this out and then what I'm hoping is once this um, patch is out it's going to allow me to um, I'm hoping uh, once the hatch is out it's going to allow me to take a good look at the uh, the deck and the coring. Uh, as I've mentioned in a previous video, we do have some deck rot I'm aware of, uh, but this is going to tell us the uh, the damage, and it's probably not good. So, so that's what I'm going to do. So as you can see, I've removed all the screws. Uh, that was the easy part. Um, I was hoping it would just uh, pull out after that, but of course it's all siliconed in there. So. I found using a hammer, uh, an X-Acto knife, and then a pry bar, uh, it helps you kind of pry it up. And then using the X-Acto knife, you kind of cut through the silicone. So uh, that's what I'm working on. There, you can see all the silicone in there that's keeping it in. But there, the hatch is out. <clears throat> the hatch is out, and now, oh my god, the damage is revealed. I'll pull the bottom one off. Oh, fuck. So there's the uh, bottom hatch there. Just check this core. Okay. Back there is fine. Right here is absolutely soaked. When I uh, put my thumb into it, it's uh, soaking wet. Water's coming out. The front is all soaked. Oh my god, it's just like a sponge. Well, yeah. This whole hatch, except for the one corner, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at here. Let's see. Okay, so here's the coring right here. So your fiberglass skin. Your fiberglass skin on the inside, right there. Well, under there. I guess the good news is, if it's this rotten, it really shouldn't be that hard to scoop out all the rotten wood and put new uh, balsa wood or marine ply in there. So, I guess if you look on the bright side, you know, that's going to make the job easier. Just let it get so far, just let it get so rotten that it's easy to scoop it out. Because if it wasn't this rotten, it, it you know it could be more of a pain in the butt to uh, try and get the wood out 
without damaging the uh, the bottom sheet of fiberglass but yeah just poke your finger through it Jesus boating is stupid why why do I do these things this is not the glamorous boat life I was hoping for um, I am now using acetone uh, to get all of the gunk off this this uh, window here this vent or hatch sorry but you can see uh, it's all stuck on there so it's just lots of elbow grease but uh, this is not the glamorous life I was hoping like this is a beautiful day look at that those beautiful skies should be on the water enjoying it instead of doing this but uh, soon enough Okay, so I've got my glass all clean, and then I've got my hatch all cleaned up. There's all the garbage that came out of it. So now I've got my butyl tape lined up, and I'm going to cut strips of butyl tape and lay it into where the, uh, the glass seats or beds into the hatch, and that's the next step. Alright, so you can see I have the butyl tape all embedded where the uh, glass will go and then that should stick to the glass and uh, form a uh, tight bond next it's uh, time to put the glass in okay so the glass is all in it looks good now I should have replaced the um, the little gasket that runs around here um, it's getting old um, but I didn't have time um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put some clear silicone over top of this and that should seal this gap. So I'll just put some uh, painter's tape on either side of it and then just um, put the silicone down the middle and that should get me through this season. And then what I'm going to do is to deal with the deck core, I'm going to remove this hatch in the fall and uh, make the necessary uh, changes then if I need to. So uh, we'll put the silicone on now. So now you can see there's the silicone all on the uh, seam. I'm just gonna take this uh, putty knife and just kind of smooth it all out and get rid of any excess uh, silicone. Okay, so we're just finishing up this uh, hatch. So I've already uh, reinstalled the, um, the inside plate, I guess, if you will. And I'm going to uh, put this uh, the outside shell back in so um, I'm just using this glues it um, it's supposed to work for this type of application um, and all you do is just pretty simple you just put the uh, caulking all around here and then screw it in um, as you can see it's not as clean as it should be you should probably take um, some acetone to it but because I have to take this uh, back out in the fall to address the coring issues i'm just kind of mickey mouse in it for now i'm going to put a little bit of caulking around it uh screw it down and then hopefully that gets us uh, through this summer and then i'll fix it properly in the fall Okay, so she's all buttoned up. You can see the silicone is seeping through, so it's nice and tight. And uh, yeah, this is a crappy job. But again, with having to remove the hatch in the uh, fall, you know, I don't want to have to rip it off with a crowbar. 
Um, I'm hoping that this will get us through this spring or this summer and we'll fix it right in the fall. But uh, there's one more job done.